Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is James Steiner, and welcome back to Shangui. So, you know the drill. The trees in the forest were still dripping wet. Everything had a glistening sheen. The path had become muddy and was now quite difficult to walk upon. However, this situation provided its own sort of strange enjoyment. It was time to go home. Even though we had spent less than a single day together, I didn't want to say goodbye to Jia. He Jia held her skirt as she skipped along, leading the way. Occasionally, she would turn back and wave to me. I followed behind her slowly. But I didn't move any faster. Just as we were passing the way to the dried-up pond, I really didn't want to leave. The eyes are still really creepy. Jia appeared to have something to say. Frickin' spider, Jesus. Wow. Are you kidding me? Why? Back to the story. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Jia suddenly took my hands and dragged me forward. So many scene. Whoa. Wasn't the pond all dried up? Oh, right, because of the rain. I'm a moron. After making our way through the woods, we suddenly came upon an at autumnal lotus pond. Yep, that's what it says. It was previously lifeless, but hours later it had become the beautiful scene from my memory. This is in a dream? Nope. The clear water, lotus blossoms, camellias, and the stone bridge leading over the pond. It was all very overwhelming. Oh boy. There's the, I, I was waiting for them to mention gods at some point. I hope it doesn't turn into supernatural. Please, just let it remain slice of life. Then again, fox ears and tail earlier, so she might be a fox spirit. Mm. Get from the god of the mountain. Yep, there's the achievement. I knew it. Ah, wait a Jia ran to the shore and poked a few fingers into the water. How clean. <laughs> Jia then took off her shoes and jumped into the water. A tremendous splash followed. Hmm. The water was knee deep. Jia held her skirt and twirled about. Jia slipped and fell. She was now sitting in the water. <laughs> really? I don't think that's... I, I, I only took one semester of Chinese, so I don't know it fluently enough to really be able to tell you whether that is a literal translation or if it's kind of uh, loosely translated. Hehehe. <laughs> Okay. Whatever. Jia hey? began to disrobe. After a minute or so, she was standing in the pond wearing only her underwear. Really? Hey. 
Jia began splashing water on me. <laughs> what? Inspired by Jia's boldness, I took off my shoes and walked towards the pond. <laughs> The pond wasn't that deep, really. The bottom was covered with lots of colorful stones, which looked positively radiant glinting in the sunlight. Hey. I should have known. Yeah. Ja splashed me. Oh, hey. Payback. Jia ducked under the water. Yeah. Ah, uh, pop. I hadn't played like this for a long time. After, we laid on a stone and looked up at the sky. Jia struck the water with her feet, creating a clear splashing sound. Do, 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 do. I wonder how long it'll loop. We can't stay here all day. The sunset highlighted the red in Jia's blushing face. As I looked up, Jia... Uh, hmm. I need to learn to read. As I looked upon Jia in the light of sunset, I knew I wanted this moment to last forever. Jia shook her head. Okay, she just okay. Where'd the hairpins go? They were there almost the whole entire time, but now they've been removed. There was no dialogue there. Really? Shall we meet again? What happened to the? Okay, I guess I'm. I guess I'm reading now. You will guide me. Um, How about the tickets? Will you sing for me again? Um, okay, the, 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 the. Hmm. Next time you should put less sugar in your sweet osmanthus tea. <laughs> As twilight approached, a golden radiance reflected in the water. I felt a sense of inner peace as the sun's now dimming rays warmed my heart. Jia lowered her head and kissed me on the cheek. An intoxicating feeling of serenity emanated throughout my body. The world, too, began to melt. Jia's figure slowly faded away in golden light. I could barely hear her words. She came back. I opened my eyes to find myself laying in the pavilion on, on the mountaintop. It was dusk. I rubbed my eyes and stood up. The air was much cooler. The ground was all wet. It had just rained. A gentle breeze brushed past my face. Mm. 
I looked out over the mountain and stroked my hair, which had become must by the wind. Oh, no, I don't think so. Despite this, I felt I had gained a great deal of spiritual wisdom. I took my bag and made my way home. I was at ease. Wait, Yep, Nihao. Yep, it's definitely Chinese. I already knew it was Chinese. What the fuck's wrong? It's me. Chen Chen ah. Just Chang. I've told you so many times. Don't call me that. Oh, you. <laughs> now you're just doing it on purpose. I've got some great news for you, and this is how you treat me? Well, I got the information you asked for. Of course. Who do you think I am? Chen Chen. <laughs> For the last time, if you call me Little Chang again, I will so hang up. <laughs> Let's begin. The initial description you gave me, short black hair worn in a side braid and a long dress, was completely useless. And the story about living in the mountains and a great love for sweet Osmanthus tea or whatever, it was positively... Unbelievable. Seriously, this was all you could give me? Useless! Fine, the information was not totally useless. I remembered. I knew someone. That's not what I mean exactly. The girl you met is. The mountain god's third daughter. Her name is Hijia. Mm, I knew it. I just fucking knew it. Correct. Oh, and actually, she is a purple fox. <laughs> and she is immortal. Do you understand? <laughs> Maybe. Who cares? Wait. It was just a joke. You should know me better by now. Yes, she has two elder sisters and a younger one. You don't really need to worry about it. These immortals aren't very different from us. They must also eat and sleep. Their feelings are the same as ours, and siblings often quarrel. Shall we then, what do you think about her? Yes. That's good. I'm sure she feels the same. You are fated to see each other again. If you want to see her, just go back to the mountain. Yeah, but in order to meet a god, you must bring some sort of offering or tribute. You shouldn't ask me. Didn't you make the promise to meet her to meet again with her? Say hello to her for me. After hanging up the phone, I could feel the anticipation swell within my heart. Okay, let's call the... Uh, ooh. Let's go back. Okay. No. Mm, go back. I get it. You want to show off the pretty little artwork. I knew it. I just knew it. Supernatural. It seems like slice of life at first. With that little thing that was weird could have been a dream. And then switches into... Supernatural. I knew it. I just knew it. Okay, so I wonder where it's going to go next. I really do, because it makes it feel like it's not even halfway done yet. Okay, because it felt like it should have ended there. Then it started the new plot arc of, oh, she's the daughter of a god. Go figure. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. Thank you all so much for watching. Click that like button. 
share, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.